Underneath the yellow line Thoughts racing, trying to hit a lick right now So you know I can't come outside Hello friends, hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I will tell you about social control theory. According to social control theory, people's behavior, both criminal and deviant, is controlled by their attachment and commitment to institutions, individuals, and processes. Those who are well attached and committed to such sources stay away from deviant behavior and crime, while those who are detached and care less of such sources follow the path of deviance and crime. Social control theory states that every person has the potential to violate law because criminal activities give immediate reward and gratification to a criminal, and that society provides opportunity to everyone to violate the law. People who don't commit crime because they have been properly socialized and have developed strong moral sense which makes them incapable of hurting others. One of the famous social control theory is Hershey's social bond theory. Travis Hershey's social bond theory came from his highly influential book Causes of Delinquency in 1969. According to Hershey's social bond theory, people commit crime because the bonds that attach them with society becomes weaker. In contrast, people don't commit crime because they fear that their relationship with their friends, neighbors, parents, teachers, relatives, and employers will break down. Travis Hershey has also defined different elements of social bond theory. The first element of social bond theory is attachment. Attachment with family, friends, community, teachers restrained a person from committing crimes and deviant behaviors. Without attachment to parents, peers, schools, a person cannot adapt to the norms of a society and live the life of a psychopath. Detachment to social institutions are predictor of delinquent conduct. The second element of social bond theory is commitment. A person's commitment to conventional values such as getting education, saving money for the future, adopting a career and other goals motivate him towards conformity and prevents him from deviance and crime. Third element is involvement. Heavy involvement of a person to conventional activities such as schools, activities, sports teams, community organizations, social clubs, religious organizations leaves little time for him to commit deviance and crime. The fourth element of social bond theory is belief. People who believe in positive values such as honesty, morality, fairness, patriotism, responsibility are more optimistic and stay away from deviance and crime. People holding conventional belief are less likely to involve in substance abuse. Holding positive beliefs is inversely proportional to crime. Hershey found empirical evidence in one of his famous social research for his social bond theory. He administered a detailed self-report survey to a sample of more than 4,000 junior and senior high school students to test his hypothesis that whether bonds that attach a person to society has an impact on a person's deviance and criminality. He found some of the following things in support of his hypothesis. Youth who were strongly attached to their parents were less likely to commit criminal acts. Youth involved in conventional activities such as homework were less likely to engage in criminal behavior. Youth involved in unconventional behavior such as smoking and drinking were more delinquency prone. Youth who established a distant relationship with people were more delinquency prone. Criticism of Social Control Theory People have criticized social control theory and Hershey social bond theory for different reasons. They have found the following things. People having close relationships with their deviant peers and parents are more prone to crime, especially substance abuse. Drug abusers have stronger bonds with their peers than non-abusers. Sometimes high involvement may lead to delinquency. Kids who go outside and get involved in behaviors outside the home may be more prone to crime as their parental controls get weak. Hershey's conclusion that any form of attachment deters crime it is also criticized. Research has found that attachment to delinquent peers escalate criminality rather than deter it. Social bond theory claims that weak bonds of a person with society lead to delinquency. Critics claim that such a relationship may exist and vice versa that delinquency may create weakness in social bonds. 
Peers who commit deviant behaviors are alienated by people around them. Hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel to get further videos to increase your knowledge and improve your life.